Okay then. So this is my tutorial for what this is the only level three. Um, I'm hoping that you're seeing this right now. Um, so basically, you just okay. Welcome to my tutorial for this is the only level three. Uh, here we have our little elephant guy who is going to be we are going to be controlling the whole game. And then we have um, controls. You use your arrows keys for controls. So you can go through doors, push down to get through from that door to that door and back again, or from that door to that door and back again. But how we're going to start off is just with the first level, which is really quite easy. Oh yeah, if you hit the spikes, you die. Oops. In case you probably didn't, in case you didn't guess. So for the first level, you just flip the switch, and then you can go right through, and that's good. And then for the second level, you need to look down here, and it'll kind of tell you what it means, but like in a kind of slightly cryptic way, like as it gets later on more and more cryptic. So you need to put it in the middle position. So that's like not quite the middle, but it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And yeah. So then you can get through. So like as you can probably see, this is like here covering it over. So this is pretty much the same as the first level, but the gravity is slightly different um, because you're underwater. Okay, um, shoot the gate. So for this level, you come and grab this, and then you you face the gate and you just click, and you keep on clicking and until you break the gate down with shooting. Okay, uh, pastries in space. This one's a little bit weird, but I'm just, yeah. So you need to poop a pastry at the, uh, at the thing, otherwise it, because you can't like just do it normally, you have to poop a pastry at it. And how you poop a pastry is just press space bar, so you face like away from it and then press space bar because you're pooping. So that puts it. Okay, um, speak, friend, and enter. So, this one's like from the Hobbit, is it? I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay. okay, um, so basically, you just need to you get a speech bar and you just type friend. But if you want to earn an achievement, then you type hello. No, sorry, is that wrong? Um, whoops, uh, you guys probably know. You like like the whole bit or something. I'm sorry, I'm just. But whatever they say, like in the movie, might not be that movie. Whatever movie it is, whatever they say, you just type that in and you get like an extra achievement. Um, I'm gonna try. Okay, so you just need to type in friend normally if you just want to finish the level. So that's okay. And then make the right click. So basically, you just need to right click anywhere, and then it'll come up with these. And at the top, it's open gate. So you just click open gate. Um, cool. Backstage pass. So basically, with this one, there's like an invisible wall there which you can't pass at all. So I'll just die so I can remember. So then you need to go through the door, and then you're like. Things. And then you come out again through this door, and oops. And then you, yeah, you, need to, you need to go along the lever anyway, because you can still like push it even behind the scenes. And then you come out through this door, and you're out. So, okay, this one's a little bit weird wave, elegant wave. Now basically all you want to do in this one is just like keep on running and hope that you don't get hit by lasers. If you get hit by lasers you die and you have to start again. So you just try your best not to. So with this one you're too fat to do anything really. Like you can go through but then you can't get through the gate. So basically you just need to put pastries by pressing the space bar. You press space bar then you put pastries and get smaller again and then you can put the gate. So this one back and forth forever. So it's not literally for a V, you just need to keep pushing it back and forth. And you can see that the gate's going up bit by bit as you push it back and forth. 
until it's up high enough for you to get through and then you can get through. Um, addition and subtraction. So this one's quite weird, but it's not too bad. Um, so on your keyboard, so you can't see me doing this, but on your keyboard, you press your plus key. And then like you can press your minus key to make it go back down, but you press your plus key to open it. On your keyboard. Okay, slingshot. This one's slightly weird as well. This one's kind of annoying, I'm not very good at it. But basically, you use your mouse, and then you kind of click and drag with your mouse. And then it'll make your elephant go places through the door. Great. So yeah. Um, bad, bad little ugly elephant. Now you can see all those letters. You need, because it's bad little ugly elephant, you need to click them in that order. So bad, B, L, little, ugly, U, elephant, E. And then you can go through the door. But you have to click them in that order. So if you click them put them in the wrong order then you die. So I need to get my B first for bad. B for bad. Um, and then little. So the L is over here. Bad little. Uh -oh. Sorry I'm not doing very well. So bad little. And then you right. I'm sorry about this guys. Bad Little ugly, and then I just realized something that actually helps a lot if you use the doors in this one. Elephant, so yeah, I should have put it up there, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's totally worth it. Uh, the tutorial project so you press spacebar to change color. Nope, it's not spacebar. What do you press to change color? Press something to change color that for sure. Uh, no, it's it. That's it. You click to change colour. So you need to go through and if you're a blue elephant, then you are immune to the white dots and if you're a red elephant, then you're immune to the red dots. So you need to click to change colour depending on what, like, what dots are showing at that time. So this one's you have to open another window. I'm really sorry guys, but I'm not actually screenshotting that. So basically what you do, I'll just describe it as I do it, is you get another tab open and oh you can probably see a bit actually and then you just type in this is the only level three and then it should no I'm sorry this is not working this is the only level three and then hit the load and then you just click on this is the only level three and then it'll come up like this so it should, you should be able to see this somewhere. Go into the gym and see something. You can work out any part of your body. They don't really have a machine in your brain. And then it'll come up like this. So basically you just need to press your, what do you do? Oh yeah, you just click it. And it'll slip the lever. So then you can shut that tab. And on this tab, it will be open. If I can find my piggy. Elephant. Right, so yeah, it's a little bit hope you kind of understood that. So this one is your floating and if you touch the walls then you die. Basically. That's what it's called deadly walls of float. But you still need to flip the lever so you just like come just above the ground for there. And you need to this part's kind of hard. Probably the hardest part. So you need to be really careful. Also you need to be careful like what I did to die just then. You need to be careful that you don't touch down while over a door because otherwise you'll go through the door and then die. Yeah. Uh, multiple elephant disorder. So basically you just have to keep going through and then you'll get another elephant and both of your elephants have to go through. You'll get another elephant to get that one through. Just keeps on going. So many elephants. And then finally, once you've taken a ton of elephants through the gate, then you win. Now this one's a little bit confusing, because it's kind of like the other one, except for this time you have to poop pastries through the door. Oops, sorry, that's the other way. And then I'll poop them. Whoa, whoopsie daisies, my bad. 
I got that a little bit wrong. Um, so this time what you're going to do is you're going to drop bombs, which are your pastries that you poop, to get to the yellow place. So you're going to poop a pastry. Uh -oh. So you'll poop a pastry over there and then that pastry will explode. And you can get through here and into the yellow pipe. Okay, so it says you arrived in a dark, damp level with several cube shaped blocks. A pungent odor of sweet, sickly pastry rolls over the tile floor. All ahead, you see a switch and a pipe to take you from the level. So it says here, it's like a typing bar, and you just type switch, read, and you click enter. And then click as you push the switch, the gate opens. The large pipe is now accessible, so you type, you type pipe and then enter. And there you are. So switched up. Now this one, if you look, you can see that the gate's already open. And then if you switch the other way, then the gate shuts. So you just need to not touch the switch and go through the level. Cage the elephant. This one's interesting. So you go through it. it seems fine. And you get to here and suddenly they'll cage you. So you just click back and forth really, really fast tons of times and you'll break the cage open. Uh, high jump. So this one, in the beginning, you can hardly jump at all. And then you get higher and higher and higher at jumping. And as you can see, it's necessary. This is like a bar here. You can't get past. So you get right up to the top and then you can go over it. Yeah. Um... Tricky doors. So this one's kind of confusing. So that door leads you to that door, which leads you to that door, which leads you etc. etc. And so you can, as you can see, there's another invisible bar across the game. Now what you can do is this door can be moved. So you need to know one of the door. My bad. So you go through this door, and you go through this door, so you get to here. And then you go through this door and we'll load. Pie in the sky. Now this one is a little bit confusing. I keep saying that about all the levels. I don't want to shut up. So you just put 3.14159. Is it 6 next? 1592. Sorry, 6. Who knows pie? 5. Okay. That many pie numbers. So, like literally pie in the sky. So you just type it in and up to the second five and then it'll open gate for you. Okay, now this one is really hard because um, I'm much better at it than I used to be but you're going so fast so it's really kind of hard to control yourself. But yeah. But, okay. High school and board snake champion. Now this one is quite weird but it's quite fun. So you need to go menu and then to the scores, and up here you can see there's like a tiny mini game of snake. So you need to get five. I'm having really bad luck actually right now with the snake game because all of mine are like right in the corner, which is kind of stupid. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, so you just need to get five and snake. And then you see there's like a tiny little trophy comes up there. And so that is enough. And you can now go through the gate. You can see the gate's just open. Okay. Uh, misplaced door. Now this is the one I was thinking about earlier. Where you need to... Yeah, that. So this door moves and you just get here. This... And then you go through this door. This door, no, that wrong door. Sorry, my bad. Um, you go through this door, and then sorry, I'm a little bit rusty, so I'm not screwing up, but I've got the idea. So, revenge of amazing. So, so yeah, basically it's like a maze. You just need to find your way around it. Um. Doors are good. I like doors. Mm. 
So yeah, you need to come down here. And then you can switch it. And then you come through the door. Yeah. Oh, to go home to the Door to door pastry something. Now this is another one that I was thinking about earlier. Um so this one you need to stand here and Chuck pastries through the door, basically. You need to put pastries through the door. And as you put them through, they will hit the switch. And yeah. So remember, you put pastries by hitting the space bar. Yes, you win! No, we don't have anything awesome to give you. But maybe we can assign you some random title. It's calculating, calculating, calculating. Most. Most. Who can read that word? Just if you can read that word, nice thumbs up. So most whatever that word is, performance. Um, so I only got a rank C, but like if I wasn't explaining it to you as I went, and I was actually like, trying harder, then probably get a higher rank. So you just like once you've done it once through, you pretty much like remember them all. So it's not too bad. And yeah, the main menu. So now that you've done it once, you can go into not the scores, you can go into the options, and you can now go on invisible mode, no pencil, hyper mode, or friendly memorable lovable mode. So I'll just really quickly show you what each of them are. So invisible mode, what? Use erase. I don't really care. So play. As you can see, they only appear. So you like you need to quite remember what you've done in the past. I get hard to get there. Uh, so back to the menu, and then there's hyper mode. I'm not sure what it is. Hyper mode. Hyper mode. Hyper mode is like the T Rex one on the normal one, except for they're all like that. So yeah, a little bit tough. <laughs> And then, this friendly, memorable, lovable mode. I hate this mode. So yeah, this is this is friendly, memorable, lovable mode. It's like spikes in the middle of everywhere. And yeah, friendly, memorable, lovable mode, everyone. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that my talking didn't get too annoying probably did. Sorry guys. Oh well. I will see you another time for some other type of tutorial about something. Goodbye. By the way, I will put the link to this game in the description if you cannot find it by typing it up on Google, which you probably can. Put the link in anyway. Bye.